Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. Kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like, subscribe on my YouTube channel. I hope na yung mga math videos ko ay makakatulong sa inyo in solving word problems or mathematical problems. And maraming salamat po sa inyong suporta. And sana maging masaya lang tayo in solving those kind of problems. Again, salamat and God bless. Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. So, yung discussion natin ngayon sa ating video is yung reviewer for grade 6, part 2 na to. Kasi, ito ay yung item number 6 and item number 10 of 2018 MMC Division Finals. So, mayroon tayo itong 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then yung extra question for the easy round. So, let's get started. So, we have here, what is 12% of 150? So, sabi, ano daw yung 12% ng... 150. So basically, kung ako mag-solve nito, ang gagawin ko rito ay I will get what is the value of 1% ng 150. Basically, that is 1.5. And then, instead of multiplying 12 by 1.5, why not i-break down natin yung 12% bilang 10% and 2%. So when you get when you multiply 1.5 by 10, that is 15. And then when you multiply 1.5 by 2, basically that is 3. So when you add them, kasi 12%, the answer is just 18. This is the answer for item number 6. That's it. So let's go with item number... Ah, wait. Reveal natin yung, quest, yung sagot. The answer is 18, right? So let's go with item number 7. In item number 7, sabi dyan, the sum of three consecutive numbers is 93. What is the smallest number? So, ano to? Gawa natin ang technique. To represent those consecutive numbers, you will use this ano, representation. This is the first number. Tapos yung second number natin, kasi consecutive, x plus 1. The third one is x plus 2. And yung representation natin. For the first and second number, second and third number. So sabi, sum. So you will add these three numbers, x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2. And their sum is equal to 93. When you add them mentally, this is 3x plus 3 is equal to 93. And then, we minus on tayo both sides by 3. So, this is 3x that is equal to 90. And divide it by 3, you will have x is equal to 30. This is the answer for item number 7. Kasi ang hiningi dito, what is the smallest number? And remember, your x is the first number or the smallest number from those three numbers na pinag-uusapan natin. So, reveal natin yung sagot natin. The answer is 30. Okay? So, okay na tayo dyan. Erase natin to. Let's go with item number 8. A store is offering 30% discount to all its items. If the tag price of a pair of shoes is 100... Sorry. If the tag price of a pair of shoes is 1,500, how much will it be after the discount? So, ang hinihingi dyan, ano daw yung price? After mabawasan ng 30%. So, you can solve it mentally. Alamin nyo na muna, what is the 10% of 1,500? And the 10% of 1,500 is 150. And since 30% ang hinihingi sa atin, you will multiply 150 by 3. Therefore, the answer is 450. At ang tinatanong dito, ano daw yung presyo ng sapatos or ng shoes after the discount of 30%? So you will do 1,500 minus 450. And then the answer is simply 1,050 pesos. So let's reveal the answer. If ours is correct, so 1,050. That's it. Okay, we're done. Let's go with item number 
9. In item number 9, sabi, in the number 47 and blank, what is the digit to be placed on the blank so that the number is divisible by 6? So, ano ba yung rule natin dito? Para malaman natin, if the number is divisible by 6, dapat yung number natin is divisible, yung sum ng 3 digits na to, kapag inagatip 4 plus 7 plus blank, the answer should be divisible by 2 and 3 para maging divisible by 6 siya. Again, para malaman nyo if the number is divisible by 6, kailangan kapag inad nyo yung bawat digit na number, dapat divisible by 2 and 3. So, syempre, mag-iisip ka ngayon, um, ano yung mga numbers sa pwede mo dagdag? Kailangan bilis ka dito. So, you can have 0. Kapag inad mo yung 0, dito, you have 4 plus 7 plus 0, the answer is 11. And 11 is not divisible by 2 kasi odd number siya. Okay? So, paano naman kapag 1? Try natin kapag 1. Paano kapag 1 nilagay natin dito? 4 plus 7 is 11. Plus 1, that is 12. Alam natin na yung... Alam natin na yung... 12 ay divisible by 2 and 3. Pero, yung last digit natin is 1. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya even number. So, hindi pwede. So, you will replace 1. Eh, kapag 2 naman kaya pwede ba? So, 4 plus 7 plus 2 is 13. Hindi rin pwede. How about 4? 4 plus 7, that is... Fifteen. Diba? Fifteen. Alam natin na yung, since kapag four to, alam natin na siya even number, therefore divisible by two. At yung sum niya is fifteen, therefore divisible by three. Therefore, the number na hinahanap natin for us to make the number divisible by six is simply four. Four ang kailangan natin i-add or ilagay. So, review natin yung sagot natin. Okay, that's it. The answer is, 4. Let's go with item number 10. Sabi sa item number 10, 1 half kilo of used, used paper costs 36 pesos. How much does 3 fourths of a kilo cost? So, ang 1 half daw ay 36 pesos. And then, ang tanong dito, magkano daw yung presyo ng used ng used newspaper kapag 3 fourths na. Yun yung tinatanong. So, alam natin, kapag hinati natin yung 1 half, we will get 1 fourth. So, hati natin yung 36, that is 18. Ibig sabihin, kada 1 fourth, meron kang 18 pesos kapag nagbenta ng newspaper. So, kapag nag ka ng 1 half and 1 fourth, you will get 3 fourths. Right? So therefore, to get the value of 3 fourths, you will have 36 plus 18. Therefore, the correct answer is simply 54 pesos. The cost of the use, used newspaper, if it, weighed, it weighs 3 fourths of a kilo, is 54 pesos. So that is the answer for item number... 10, rebuild natin. Okay, 54 pesos. Now, let's go with the extra item. Sabi dito, what is the sum of the measures of the angles of a heptagon? Dito, tingin kong hiningi dyan ay interior angles. The formula for the sum of the interior angles is simply S sub N that is equal to 180 degrees times N minus 2. At ang heptagon natin is 
7 sided. Therefore, your n is equal to 7. So you will have S sub n that is equal to 180 degrees times 7 minus 2. So you will have 180 degrees times 5. So ang sum ng ating interior angles or na angles ng isang heptagon is simply 900 degrees. So this is the answer for the extra item in the easier round of the MMC 2018 Division Finals. So if you have something to ask or meron kayo mas madaling method sa pinakita ko sa video na to, you can put some something in our comment section and maraming salamat sa patuloy niyong pagsuporta. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you again. I am Teacher God. God bless.